What's up YouTube? This is Justin with Justin Time Watches and I am back with another review. As you can see, there is no surprise here, it is the third installment, um, the trilogy, so to speak, of the John Mayer collaboration with Hodinkee and G-Shock. And the moment that this thing dropped, I had to have it. I do have the other two. Um, so I do have the Holy Trinity, so to speak. Um, but without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. There's not a whole lot um, that, that a lot of people, I think, who really know the brand don't know already. Um, but John Mayer is a huge watch fanatic. Uh, he collects watches himself. Um, so how fitting is it that, you know, he collaborates with... G-Shock, it's just really cool. So if we take a look at this box, um, this is, to me, pretty stylish, pretty cool. Um, kind of reminded me of like, um, I don't know, Rubik's Cube, something something crazy. But when I saw this, I was like, hmm, I wonder if they're gonna do like a digital camo. Uh, never did I think they were gonna do the colorway that they did, but I love it nonetheless. One of the really cool pieces I love about this collaboration is the packaging. I think that's really, other than the name, that, that's really what you're paying for is the, the packaging. So you get, uh, of course, your warranty card and, and all that other fun stuff. You get this really nice nameplate, John Mayer Hodinkee. Um, the reference number on this watch, just so you guys know, is DW6900JM222CR. Um, so this just came out, I want to say maybe a week ago at the time of this, this video. And uh, just absolutely adore it, love it. Real quick wristwatch check, wearing the Blue Phoenix. For those of you guys who have not seen my review, please check it out. Um, also, huge shout out to Chicago. Um, he has an awesome G-Shock channel. If you have not seen his videos, please, please, please check him out. So, what do we got here? Look at that. How cool is that? You've got your, basically, it, it's like a baby blue, a powder blue. Um, one of the themes, or the theme, for all of his G-Shocks thus far are that they all are colorways of keyboards that he has used in his youth um, and growing up. And if we see here, this does not veer at all away from that idea. So you've got powder blue throughout. And the really cool part that I loved about this particular um, trilogy piece or the third installment is the watch matches the box. I mean, how could you not love that? But here you go. I mean, you've got colorways of baby blue, almost like, a, like an ocean blue or aqua blue, so to speak. You've got your black. You've got like a, almost like a salmon color on the, on the actual G pusher. It's not... It's not orange, it's definitely salmon. Um, really nice cushion holder that it comes with. And of course you've got your typical, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to capture this, but you've got your typical G-Shock um, backlight, backlight LED light. You've got your alarms, you've got your stopwatch. Um, again, this is not solar, this is not a solar uh, or a multi-band six by any means. You get a really nice, cool back plate uh, that just kind of shows the John Mayer Hodinkee collaboration. Um, you know, one of the things that I guess I've, I've been curious and I should have done research prior to <laughs> the video um, is on the back of the, of the plate, it does say, and I don't know if it's gonna capture it, it says Japan. So I'm wondering if this particular, I know the other two collaborations were that also said that on their back plate. So I do think that this is made in Japan. A lot of their watches sometimes say that it was cased um, in Thailand or made in Thailand and cased in Japan or however, you know, however that goes. But, um, you know, I, I would be curious to know if that was, um, I guess, a perk because, you know, everybody would like to have the watches made in Japan. It's just more of like a premium, premium feel to it. Um, so there, here it is, the third installment. I am going to be doing a video on the trilogy uh, coming up in the next couple of weeks where I'll have all three watches um, kind of side by side so you can compare and contrast, have a little bit more information about the keyboards that these are made off of or, or, or made to, to mimic, so to speak. Um, but here it is. 
These sold out in about a day, a day and a half. I think the gray one, the first gray one that, that came out sold out like in minutes, which is just insane because these, these are limited, but they're, you know, they're still producing the thousands. It's not like, you know, you're getting only 200 produced. Um, so yeah, here it is. I love the colorway. The only other thing I'll say about this um, is with in comparison to the previous models, so you've got the gray, the white, and now you've got this powder blue, the, the straps almost get more supple as they've made them. In the gray one, it, it was nice. It, 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 was, it was a supple, you know, resin strap. Um, and then the white one came out and the white one was just super duper comfortable to wear, um, almost more comfortable than the black. And then this one is just super soft. Um, if you haven't, I, I can't describe it. It's just, it's an extremely soft resin. So hats off to Casio, absolutely fantastic job with the collaboration. If you guys like this video and would like to see more content, please, please, please like, subscribe to the channel, guys. Um, and again, I'm Justin with Justin Time Watches. I really appreciate you guys taking the time out of your day to watch the review, and I'll see you guys on the flip side.